Hello and welcome everyone to Universe Sandbox. As you can probably tell, we are currently in Universe Sandbox VR, which means that we can do a lot of fun stuff that we couldn't do normally. Uh, I will be honest though, I haven't played Universe Sandbox VR in a while, so I have to figure out all the controls again. Seems we have some controls there. We've got more controls over here. I can get Earth and I can just throw- oh. Well, I'm following it, so it is moving. It's just moving with me. I can pull Earth closer. Ooh. 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 And look at that. Looking real good. And we got all of Earth's information here. Wow. This is very neat. So I can I can poke Saudi Arabia if I want to. Very nice. Let's see what she lo- Oh, look at that. No, that is beautiful. Oh, boy. Look at that. That is brilliant. Oh, jeez. Oh, that looks so neat. All right. Look at all of the moons. Look. That is so awesome. We can even go, like, under it. Watch from below as everything... I wish I could do, like, 3D videos to show you guys just how awesome... Actually, I think YouTube does support that now. But that would be a... A pain to edit, but look at that. We can walk all the way around for the full 3D effects. Look at that. Absolute. Whew. Everything looks just so much cooler. I'm going to keep walking around because it'll give you guys kind of the 3D effect if I'm moving. Yeah, look at that. That is just absolutely incredible. Look at that little guy running away. <laughs> Oh boy, we can kind of maneuver our way through here, through all of the different objects. Poor Earth. Poor Earth got hit a bit. Look at that roll around. Oh. Wow. That's just incredible. Alright, let's go ahead and create a planet. I want to see the creation of a planet in VR. I feel like that would be... that would be neat. Let's go ahead and do a new empty simulation and we will start out with a little tiny random asteroid. So let's go ahead, go down to minor, do a random asteroid. Here we go! Here's our first random asteroid. So we've got our first object, which is looking pretty good. It's got some bumps, bruises. It's not quite spherical. There's not enough gravitational force to force it into a sphere. But now if we throw another object into it, it's gonna grow a little bit. Grow a little bit more. We're gonna quickly use the fly tool to fly directly into it so that we don't uh, run into issues with it running away from us. Oh, is that water? Yeah, there was some water that came off there. We can actually see it kind of rolling across. I mean, it's going to be gone momentarily, but that's kind of neat. Let's go back to the Add menu, and we're going to build a planet in VR by sacrificing other planets. <laughs> blood for the blood gods, am I right? Ooh, more and more water I'm seeing just pop up on the surface. Very nice. So, we're going to continue to grow it. I don't know what the mass uh, of our beautiful planet here is now. It's growing quite large, though. We've got to be getting close to planet size. Could already be planet size, I'm not sure. Alright, so it's a very large moon now. So let's go ahead and just get its details. I'm going to turn off add, just click on it. Uh, fifth of Earth. Very nice. Let's go ahead and cool it down a bit. A small planet may be fun. Let's go ahead and set it. Oh, wow! Would you look at that? All the craters and stuff actually gave us some very nice lakes and oceans. Honestly, if we go over to its composition and just give it an atmosphere very quickly. One moment. Where is our atmosphere? Atmosphere, surface, 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 atmospheric mass, earth, oh no, we want to do surface pressure and set it to one atmosphere, here we go, 
Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mmm. Very nice. I feel like an artist. It's like Picasso. Alright, let's go ahead to appearance. Go ahead and turn on city lights for that extra effect. Then we can go ahead and set the middle color to something a little bit more green. Not quite that green. I like... Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, I like that. Alright, and then the low color will make it a little bit more sandy colored. Oh, look at this! I mean, we got some interesting effects here. Look at that higher elevation snowy area. You know, if you want to live in the mountains, or we got like deserts, we got beautiful forests all over the place. You can go around to the other side, and we can see the cities. Look at that, we got our life. Beautiful, beautiful cities. Now we can actually take this entire thing, shrink it down so we can get a better look at the whole thing. Oh yeah, that mega city. That's mega awesome. And we can just go ahead. Wow, that is so neat. And we can grow it as well. And look at it in its full grand scale. Look at that. And we made it. This is our planet. Made it right in front of us. Our child, grown with love and care. I, I, oh, I want to see the night side of it, but I gotta kind of actually travel around it for that. I don't know why it gets dark when I do this. I think it's to prevent you from getting, uh, motion sick, which I understand. It's a little bit awkward, but I can deal with it. I can't see the cities. I want to see the cities. City skylines. Oh! Oh, there we go. Look at that view. Oh my. That is beautiful. All right. And then we can just shrink it back down again a little bit. Put it to the center of my room. Walk around, oh, look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, we can see a crater there as well. Look at that crater. Something definitely hit it. There's one right here going around. There's one right here going around. Let's go ahead and just for good luck, because this is Universe Sandbox, let's spawn a moon here. Go ahead, turn down the time step. and watch the slow destruction slow destruction of our planet here actually can I turn off the uh, trails and labels yes yes I can and I can put this over here so it doesn't get in our way move this over here so that my overlays don't get in the way then we can just watch we can just wa <laughs> maybe not Boop. No, oh, wait, no, I got rid of the ad thing. What? Huh. I meant to turn that off, but that's alright. We're just gonna focus on the explosion. Wow, this is very ominous. We just know that we have the power to destroy this entire society. All of these people we just created on this beautiful planet. And we're just watching as we destroy this beautiful world that we have created. And millions and billions of screams at once as the, <laughs> as the globe shakes and a violent shockwave carries across the land. <laughs> wow. This is so sad. Everything we've just created, all of the societies that have formed on the surface of this planet are now going to be annihilated in one fell swoop. Look at the amount of power 
Look at the immense amount of power in that impact. You can see this neat little ring. Jeez. All right, let's pull up that time scale and speed it up a little bit. The particles, all of the little pieces of debris that have flown out are now creating just trails of destruction. And now the planet itself is going to warm from the impact and the beautiful oceans and lakes are going to be gone. Or are they? I, I can actually check very quickly. I'm not sure what the condition of the planet is right now. I will be honest, I am not sure. Uh, 70 degrees! Are you kidding me? It survived that? It's not absolutely destroyed? Oh, damn. Alright. I mean, everyone died, almost certainly, from a collision like that, but I'm surprised that the damage isn't worse. Guess that I will have to uh, ensure that it is. Alright, that was enough. <laughs> All right, it's been destroyed now. I can almost guarantee it. There's no survivors from that one. And just for some extra, extra insurance, we'll just laser it. <laughs> oh, the cities are still there and I've just wiped them out. That's kind of depressing. It's okay, we can vaporize this bad boy. The temperature is at 2,000 degrees, but that's not quite enough to vaporize a planet. So we're just going to continue warming it. Do do do. Look at how hot that one point is. <laughs> we're just dumping insane amounts of energy onto the surface of this, of this planet and just hoping that it absorbs it. But it seems to actually not be absorbing as much as I'm hoping. So we'll just add a... Zero. Yeah, okay. All right, now it's at 3,000 degrees. I mean, this has got to do something. I mean, it's certainly doing something. We can, we can see it's turning white hot, blue hot, but it's still not enough. It's still not enough to vaporize it, so I guess that we'll have to go further and add another zero. Okay. Certainly, 10,000 degrees Celsius is going to be enough to spell the end of this. Oh, yeah. There we go. We did it. There we go. As promised, we have created and destroyed a planet. I'm Spike Viper. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more VR Universe Sandbox or have any cool ideas, let me know. I have a laser pointer for a finger. How spooky. I can, like, fire this. Fire this at you from all the way over here, and someday it'll just end up... You know, waving this around wildly is a terrible idea. I've probably knocked out, like, hundreds of planets far into the future when the light finally reaches them. Very sad. Well, see you all next time. Peace out. And goodbye. Yeah, this is what my desktop looks like. If I want to stop recording, I gotta go over here. And then I'd be like...